Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain using react.js.net how to bind array into a drop down which is a select option element in ASP.NET MVC application. And here we got our final output of our react.js MVC application. This is our react.js component in the MVC layout and below we got the drop down list which is a select option element. Notice here, these are the cricket names. We have binder or populated from an array. And notice it's displaying the tooltip also. The values of our array and the text values are the sport names. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous RealJS tutorial series. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. I'm using Visual Studio 2019 to create a MVC React.js application. So first I'm creating a new application. For that go to File, New. Then I'm selecting Project. From the project I'm selecting the template ASP.NET Web application. Click Next. And the project name is react.js the drop down list mvc and i want to save this project in e drive click create after that i'm selecting a normal mvc project template click create and here the project has been created successfully let me close this default window after that, open Solution Explorer and notice in our project when I install MVC template, install some default MVC folders and configuration files. But I want to implement a React.js functionality in, our, in my MVC application. If you check in our project, there is a scripts folder. Let me expand the scripts folder. Notice the bootstrap jQuery files, which means in the scripts files, all the client-side validation scripts will be saved in this script folder. So first, we require the latest React.js packages to our application, MVC application. For that, go to Tools and select Nudget Package Manager. From that, select the Package Manager console. And here we got the package manager console and the prompt let's install iPhone package react.js react.js enter and here are the packages are installed successfully and these packages Notice in this our scripts folder, we got our React folder is created. Let me expand this React folder. We got the React DOM and React files. JS files is added. Now we require some more React JS packages. Now this time, I'm selecting my project. Right click the mouse. Go to Manage Nugget Packages. Then go to Browse and search for ReactJS.net. And from the search results, I'm selecting the react.web.mvc4, I have chosen that one, then click install. After that, click OK. And notice here one important point, when I, when I install this mvc4, react.web.mvc4, along with this package, there are two more packages also installed which is the core and grab and these three packages are were installed successfully in our project references folder see here the react.core web and mvc4 these three packages now we require the for the javascript packages also so we require the javascript engine switcher.v8 this is the package i want to install click install Click OK and here we got the readme.txt file for that package. 
let me close this one now we require two more packages this time I'm selecting the JavaScript engine near to Windows x64 bit I want to install click install click OK let me close this fibmi.txt file also now this time I'm selecting the x86 click install okay I'm closing the readme.txt file for this windows x86 that's it up to now we have just finished to install the react.js.net packages in our, in our MVC application let me close this nugget package window also now before implementing the react.js functionality in our MVC application first let's run our project to check the default output of our application and here we got the output of our application which contains this is the layout in the middle is the index view page which is a CSS estimate page now what I'm doing let me open solution explorer come to the bottom in the views I'm expanding the home folder home folder is uh, controller and index.cshtml is our default view page I'm deleting this default view page uh, default code from this uh, CSS channel and saving this file now we'll check the new output so now the index.css HTML file is totally empty except we have one title but the layout is same now my aim is I want to integrate the react.js component in this CSS HTML to display a drop down element from an array so first let's stop debugging open solution explorer first most important step when we are dealing with dotnet applications with react.js we need to configure the javascript engine so in our project folder in our project there is a folder called app underscore start let me expand that one notice here in our app underscore start there is a react config.cs file let me open that one and this is the react.js file uh, uh, react config file sorry now let's install the package react javascript engine.v8 after importing this package now in the configure method let me delete this default uh, code here i'm adding javascript switcher dot code dot JS Indian switcher dot current dot default engine name is equals to v8 JS engine dot engine name. After that, again we require one more line code dot JS Indian switcher dot current dot engine factories engine factories dot add v8 method that's it after adding this two line code and we require this package to import in react config.cs file and now we require a component so that component i'm creating in our scripts folder so for that i require one more new folder called js you can give any name to the folder but here i'm giving js which is a javascript file now to create a component we require the jsx file so here i'm selecting jsx file jsx file i'm adding ddl okay and here we got our ddl component first let's create a class class i'm creating a class component ddl extends react dot 
component and this pair component contains a render method inside this render method I want to render the return div method div element div element is a default element uh, here we don't require any commands curly brackets so inside this div element I'm adding one h1 tag find mm. an array into drop down list using react.js.net in MVC application. I am closing the header tag. After that, I am adding one simple horizontal line. Now, after the horizontal line, I want I am adding one simple select element. Let's close the select element. This select element contains a chill element called option option this option is a label select sport let's save this file now to render this component we require here react render method dot react dot render method sorry react dot render method and this render method I am adding first our component name which is a ddl then the second component is a document dot second parameter second parameter is document dot get element by id is uh, let's add the result Now let's save this file. Now we need to render this component in index.cshtml. So here I am adding one simple center tag. So our component will display in the center. At the bottom, let's add the React min.js file. We will require the script files. And also we require our DDL JSX file. So instead of href, this also script, and this is the source at URL dot content. Let's delete this line. That's it. Now in the center, I'm adding one simple do element. Now inside this do container, I'm adding the ID property. The ID property must be our component document that get element by ID. I want to render this element here in this ID, which is this component. Now let's say this application will check the output. And here we got the new output of our application and this time we got our component with a drop down list right now this drop down list contains a simple select sport label now my aim is i want to bind some sport names into this drop down list from an array in react.js component so let's stop debugging switch over to our component uh, first we require an array so I'm adding one variable sports is equals to uh, here between curly brackets the value contains one and the text text is a string so I'm uh, using single quotes cricket comma copy this one just for the demo purpose i'm adding only four cricket names in an array uh, sport names rugby rugby 
the value 3 is tennis the value is 4 and the text is boxing now let's uh, map this sports array into the select element so for that I'm adding a curly brackets here this dot the sports is our variable name dot map method and this map method contains an object uh, so the object name is display sport you can give any name now here I'm adding option I'm closing this option now inside these options I'm binding these ports between curly brackets display sport dot text the text values are the sport names and also I want to add a tooltip for our drop down list to display the values of the sports uh, title title is a tooltip in the option element display sport dot value that's it let's save this file we'll check the final output and here we got our final output of our react.js mvc application this is our react.js component in the mvc layout and below we got the drop down list which is a select option element notice here these are the cricket names we have binded or populated from an array and notice it is displaying the tooltip also the values of our array and the text values are the sport names that's it thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel